I had a job when I first moved to Florida. I was a new Muslim. Had left South Carolina and, and, and was trying to gain knowledge of my deen. And I, the only job I could take was a crazy construction job in Florida in the summertime. 90 degrees outside, man. 95 degrees with the humidity at like 87%. Outside dying, man. I'm not, I'm not made for this type of stuff. And on Friday, but I was doing it because this was the only job I can find and I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of me. I went on Friday and told my boss, look, I gotta go to Juma. I gotta go, I'm gonna take a long lunch today, but I'll stay late. He was like, no man, well, there's no leaving. You don't leave this work site. I'm like, look, this is my religious obligation. I have to go to the Juma on Friday. He was like, look, if you leave the job, then you're fired. I said, well, I'll see you in two weeks to get my check, because I'm out. And I left. I just left. And I said to myself, husband Allah wa ni'ma Allah is sufficient for me, man. I don't need, no. I'm not going to violate my deen because I think I need something from the dunya. So I left, went to Juma, not knowing how I'm going to get another job. Not knowing how I'm going to take care of myself. I went to Juma, and I was leaving Juma. And I made the du'a, so Ya Allah, my, my, my welfare is in your hands. I walked outside of Juma, and there was a brother who had just come from Philistine, a sheikh from Philistine, one of the most knowledgeable brothers I've ever met in my entire existence. And he came from Philistine and he, had a, he owned a pizza shop in Al-Quds, in Jerusalem. And he came here to open up a pizza shop and establish his family here because of all the fitna in, in uh, Jerusalem at the time. And he came up to me, asked what he said, uh, Brother Yusha, do you have a job right now? I said, actually, no, I just quit today. He said, well, I need somebody to work for me. And he hired me on the spot and gave me double what I was making at the construction job. And this is just one instance of about a thousand that I could give you of how when you put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He never, ever lets you down.